Hi, in this lecture, I'll explain you various types of dividend discount models. The dividend discount models can be categorized into five types. One is zero growth model, and the second one is constant growth model. The third one is two stage growth model, and the fourth one is three stage growth model, and the final one is non constant growth model. First, we look at the zero growth model. In case of a zero growth dividend model, the company pays uniform or a similar dividend throughout its life. An example of zero growth dividend model is preference stocks. In case of a preference stocks, the company promises to pay the uniform dividend throughout the investor holds the preference stock. Next is constant growth model. So in case of a constant growth model, dividend grows constantly at a given rate. Suppose a company assures that or promises to pay a dividend at a 10% growth rate. That means throughout the life, as long as you hold the stock, you will get a 10% growth on a dividend every year. So this is a constant growth. That means the growth rate remains constant throughout the time period. And next is two-stage growth model. In case of a two-stage uh, growth model, in the initial years, the company pays high dividend growth rate. At later on, the growth rate remains a normal or a constant. So this is a two-stage growth model. In case of three-stage growth model, you will see three different phases in dividend growth. That is, in the initial years, dividend grow at a very higher price. Then in the second stage, it will be normalized, and in the final phase, the dividend growth will be constant. Finally, non-constant growth model. In case of a non-constant growth model, dividends are not constant from one year to other year. In the sense, in one year, the company pay rupees two as a dividend. In the second year, company pay three as a dividend. In the third year, company pay rupees two rupees fifty paise as a dividend. So the dividends are non-constant there. Now, in my coming lectures, I'll explain you how to calculate the stock value using different dividend discount models. Thank you.